I know some of you will be disappointed. There will not be any footage of me driving my low seat mini B in this video. The SD card corrupted and all crashed pretty much just like I do every time I am at the track. What's up guys, it's Chad. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. And today I want to talk about the low C mini B pro roller buggy kit. Now, I don't really know how I feel about this. I definitely am really happy because I love racing these things. And after racing it this weekend and identifying some issues that I need to fix on mine, it seems like all the research that I did paid off. And what Horizon packed into this roller kit really doesn't seem like the way to go. Let's take a look at it real quick. So for 140 bucks, you can pre-order this kit and it's just a roller. So you're gonna need to buy electronics and all of that kind of stuff. Now, right off the bat, it's not a bad thing when it comes to that anyway, because I paid 150 bucks for mine. I upgraded the servo. I upgraded the motor. I bought another battery and all of that stuff. And you know, you know where I'm going with this. You end up spending a lot of money on these little cars and you know, you sit and think, oh, well, we're going to get some good bang for our bucks for 140 bucks. Well, not necessarily. And the reason why I say that is just based off of the upgrades that they are giving you. Now, what they say uh, they are giving you is the top five option parts that are pre-installed. And now what that is, is that is pretty much a lot of their aluminum parts, all of this stuff right here. So we're looking at aluminum bulkhead, which is okay. Very hard. It's a hard part to install. Like working on these minis is, is horrible. Honestly, it really is. Honestly, all of these parts are hard to install. You're going to have to have a lot of patience and little fingers to make it all happen. Bleeding these shocks and getting them right. Very difficult. You know, they all come out of the bottom. It, they're just, you know, basic oil filled shocks. Um, the servo horn, you're going to have to get only their servo will fit that horn. Um, if you want to get a Savix or something like that, you're not going to be able to use this horn that it actually comes with. And when it comes to the metal steering cranks and everything, eh, it's just not a good idea. Um, they're really not needed in this car. Usually the metal will clean up the slop and everything. But the slop actually in this buggy comes from the servo and the servo saver that comes on the original. So you're still going to be using plastic bushings and all that kind of stuff inside there. There's nothing in here that talks about adding bearings or anything at all. Then you're going to have to paint your body and do all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at my buggy here and I will show you what I have done to it and I'm going based off of people that are really running these things in all kinds of conditions, what I've seen at the track, what I see people doing online on the various Facebook groups. There is like a large following of these things. I mean, come on, it's a $150 car that you can buy at any hobby shop and you can just rip. And on the track, man, these things rip hard with very, very little modifications. Mostly what you need is the bigger milliamp battery and the brushless system. I think pretty much 99% of the people can get away with that alone. If you are willing to deal with some sloppy steering for like another 40, 50 bucks, you can order a specialized servo kit that I actually have on the way that I'm going to install into here. Cause I'm going to show you why right now. So here is my little baby and you can right off the bat, you're going to take a, a look and see a couple things. Of course, we've got all of the tires upgraded. We've got, you know, the Proline, the prisms, all that kind of stuff. Mini pins, just totally awesome. We're running the regular horizon hobby brushless system, which then allows us to use our own receiver. So of course we've got the San Juan receiver on it. I mean, why wouldn't we put a hundred dollar receiver in a $150 car, right? I did replace the shocks with the aluminum ones. Don't really think that is necessary, but since I was going to be rebuilding them, I decided to go ahead and do that anyway. I bought their spring kit and definitely stiffened up the front springs up here. 
Also, based off of a lot of recommendations online, we added a plastic bumper here to the front. This will save us, evidently, these things really like to pop ball cups quite a bit. So when you hit versus this versus the wheels or the front end, you're not going to pop your ball cups as much, take you out of the race. And believe me, when there were nine of us out there racing these little mini things on a Sunday, we needed like 20 turn marshals out there because these things just bumble over each other and all kinds of stuff. It's hilarious amount of fun. And it's great for me because it was allowed me to get more stick time you know, trying to get used to driving the real size buggy, standing up on that podium, depth perception, learning how to like how much to turn and how much throttle and everything. And, uh, you know, with this thing with the brushless system and the high grip that these tires and the carpet, I had to turn my dual rate way down in the San Juan because this baby was wanting to pop wheelies just like crazy. So kind of a, maybe a self-inflicted wound here or whatever, but underneath the Savix digital servo metal gear that I upgraded and right here is a couple of brass plates. They don't weigh a whole lot. We're looking at like a total of like 62, 63 grams. But what they do have is you can see here where I've got holes drilled into the bottom of the chassis. They allowed me to move the servo forward to get rid of the actual servo saver itself, which is the really the main component of the slop. You know, the servo that came with this combined with the servo saver and just jumping and bumping and all that stuff is going to strip those gears out like really, really fast. So I did the relocation to mount it up front with every intention to use that servo horn that came, that's coming with the pro roller kit. Wrong man, it doesn't fit. It only fits the Spectrum low C servos. <sighs> so in a desperation move, what I actually did was end up just using the servo horns that came with the Savic servo which worked out until I crashed a couple times and they both ended up breaking. I broke two, didn't even get the race in the main because I didn't have another one. And really how they break is just kind of, uh, you know, a, a, a way, the way that they're construction constructed. The ball stud that goes inside there is too big for the holes that are in the servo mount. So you have to ream those out. And when you ream those out, they're so small, there's just not enough supportive plastic left inside there. So, you know, they just break really easy. But I've got this servo kit coming from, I'll be talking about it on the channel. I wish I knew what the name of the company was or I'd show you right now but that should solve the problem. So we'll move the servo back a little bit to its original location. Of course, we'll have to scoot all this stuff back. And then it's a really nice, it's, it's like a one piece servo saver and servo arm together. Nothing with the springs or anything like that. Um, it comes with upgraded mounts for the side as well. And I just went ahead and bought their high tech servo in the kit. I think the whole kit was like around 50 bucks and that way I could just put all that on there and hopefully everything will be done in one time because getting down in here and getting these ball studs onto these ball cups and everything is like an act of God every time it is frustrating. I think at one time I just handed the car to my buddy Bill and I'm like, you just do it, man. I'm done with this thing. I can't handle it anymore. So who thought that something so little and innocent could be so much fun yet be so frustrating, but yeah, it is serving its purpose. Would I buy that roller? No way. I wouldn't buy it. I would buy this. At least you got some leftover parts and you don't need to really go out and spend the money on the upgrades right away anyway the brush motor is going to be fine and you're going to want to get that other aftermarket servo kit and not deal with that anyway because then you're going to have to deal with just the regular spectrum servo which is not as good or well built as you know the high tech here or that um the savix here or the high tech that actually is coming with that kit I've got a lot of other parts to add on to this thing if I want to, but the fastest guys that are at our track with these things are running, like I said, pretty minimal upgrades, all plastic stuff, just a few things. I think the more people race them, the more they're going to want to add like little bits and 
pieces to them because you know you kind of want to make them their own i had somebody pick up my car and walk off with it after the first heat because like two or three of us had the same color body uh this is available in like three colors so obviously i'm going to want to like paint my own body i have one right over there and i've got uh, some uh, wings and stuff to go ahead and do plan on doing that this week before racing next week and um you know, but the thing puts a smile on my face. I hate working on it, but man, it's fun to drive. And, and the best part is, is even though out of like the 11 people I finished in like eighth place, I was only like two seconds off of being in like the top five, the top two or three guys are like way ahead of us. Like they're just like smoking the track with these things. So at least I'm kind of in the middle of the pack and not dead last like I am in the 17.5 class. So I hear my auto guider going off over there. I'm taking some astro images and it looks like my night is over already. That is a, that's a bummer. Ugh. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Hopefully you heed my advice a little bit. There'll be a lot more on this for sure. So we will talk to you guys later. Peace.